What is up guys, welcome to this commentary, you're kind of seeing me through the screen right here because I wanted to demonstrate and show you guys this pull workout and everything I'm doing. So I started off with pull-ups, pronated grip, coming all the way down, extending all the way down. A lot of people, when they do these pull-ups, they go half reps, they're coming like here, they're not extending all the way down. Make sure you're getting the full range of motion when you're doing these pull-ups so that you're feeling everything and you're working your entire lats and your entire arms. Then moved on to this hammer strength uh, seated row. Really, really love using this when I'm at home. I'm at my home gym, really trying to pull and pull my elbows past my lats, really getting the full uh, concentric motion and then extending eccentrically all the way out. Did that uh, for 10 to 12 reps. Everything else was 10 to 12 reps. Then moved on to this preacher curl machine. Uh, really focused on really coming all the way down, squeezing, having my palms, all my hands almost super. Uh, swooped up at an angle in a supernated grip, having basically my the the outside part of my hand only thing touching um, the bar and trying to scoop up, really trying to get that last part of the bicep, the bottom part of the bicep, which, pe which people neglect a lot. Uh, really trying to emphasis on that and trying to grow my biceps. My biceps are one of the biggest parts of my body, and I contribute that to just proper form, extending all the way down, and doing proper weight, 10 to 12 reps on everything that I do bicep wise. Then moved on to this uh, cable lat pull down with the reverse grip We're coming with the W bar, I always call the W bar, Tr really trying to pull it all the way down again, past my lats, pulling through and contracting all the way down. Then next moved on to some shrugs. I don't sh do shrugs that often, you know, especially especially when I'm in a deficit, my traps aren't gonna go as much as I want to, but I feel like I should do them. And a lot of the kids in my internship do the instructor incorporates uh, jump shrugs or some kind of shrugging movement to help with the neck, help eliminate concussions with athletes. So I want to do some shrugs, change it up, really try to squeeze and grow my traps a little bit more, uh, put some emphasis and some work on those things because I don't do that enough and I really should do more of that. Then moved on to a super set with uh, straight down pull downs, lat pull downs, uh, straight arm grip uh, is basically what I'm trying to say. Pulling down, trying to engage the lats, trying to keep my arms almost as straight as possible. Not completely locked out, but trying to contract and come all the way down, squeeze, come all the way back up. Uh, again, for 10 to 12 reps. Really, like I said, putting emphasis on those lats, trying to get grow a wider back. That is, this is a great movement for trying to grow a wider, wider back. Then moved on to some hammer, hammer curls with the... Um, arms at a pronated grip again, squeezing, coming up, working that brachioradialis muscle right here, which is on the outside near your thumb side of the of the arm, really works that along with your biceps, so contracting all the way up and then extending almost, flexing that tricep on the way down and then coming all the way up. Really helps work that outer part of that bicep, trying to strengthen that as well along with the forms, because a lot of us neglect forms, we don't really work our forms as much as we should. And so that is one key point that we need to add. So I hope you guys enjoy this commentary. See you guys. Really welcome to the vi the video. Today is a special day, boys graduation uh, party. So I'm gonna head over there, trying to comb these naps of mine. Get a haircut tomorrow. I've been holding off as long as I possibly can, closer to graduation next week. Today's Sunday, so I'm trying to hold off as long as possible. But uh, this shit's got to go. I haven't had a haircut in like a month, so excuse my appearance. But I'm gonna head over there, and then I'm gonna try to get some footage for you guys, and then that'll be it. So let's get it. God, this shit nappy. But no outfit. Uh, Ralph Lauren button up, dress pants, brown shoes, and then Nixon watch. A lot of you guys have been asking me what watch I always wear. It's a Nixon. I forgot what model it is, but I like the black wristband, big black face. And uh, super dope, so clean. They both do their thing with the greens and shadows. My grandfather. <laughs> uh, me and Deontes go all the way back to the first grade. Um, 
took back when I had our parents bringing us uh, lunch because we didn't want to eat the nasty school food to having uh, Mr. Moore heat up our food uh, <laughs> during lunchtime. And then um, around fifth grade, after fifth grade, Deontay has moved away, him and another one of my best friends. And I never thought I'd ever see him again, but thankful to the power of social media, you know, he would come back home and, you know, have birthday dinners at Pizza Hut because he loved pizza. He loved eating pizza. And uh, we have that. And then, you know, he went off to UNCG. I was at VCU and we kind of stayed in contact and hung out. And then he moved to Norfolk, uh, ODU. And uh, I was even closer to VCU. So we saw each other at least almost once a month. I'd go down to Norfolk, he'd come up to Richmond and hang out. And so I'm just grateful because not a lot of people can say that they hung out and still kept in contact with one of their best friends from first grade. And not a lot of people can say that. And I'm so proud of you and everything that you've done. And I can't wait to see what's next for you, brother. Congrats. What's the next day? The ceremony was fantastic yesterday. Shout out to my brother Deontay if you're watching this. But it's time for me to get this haircut. For real, for real, get this haircut. Some per usual, let me go get this haircut. I'll see you when I come back. And just like that, we back, man. I'm a clean boy. Ain't no doubt about it. Yeah. A lot of people ask for the haircut. You get a uh, skin face in the back. Uh, I don't know the whole one zeros, all this stuff. My all fade up top and then cut down all the way down at the top. So I'll ask for more next time. I just don't know the, the zeros, the ones, all that kind of stuff. So but that's pretty much I get a fade. I always tell them just to fade and cut down the top. Skin fade, cut down the top. What's up, YouTube family? Oh, working up today, deadlifts today, working up to hey, so 365 pounds uh, for heavy single. Uh, really kind of feeling alright today, not feeling too bad. So I'm gonna work with this heavy single to drop down for 315 for a set of three, and then probably per usual 275 for the last two sets of three to four. So that's kind of what I'm playing around with, trying to maintain as much strength as I can as I start to lose more and more weight. And I feel like if I can maintain, if I can do the same weight and try to keep the same reps as I'm dropping weight, I'm going to hold on as much strength as I possibly can. That's my mindset with it. We'll see how this goes, see how this plays out throughout the weeks. And um, yeah, still staying strong, still staying on everything. I'm going to see how this 325 moves. 365 moves, sorry. Right. Gotta keep talking. So that felt extremely heavy, but when I went back and watched the footage, it, the bar moved real faster than I thought it felt, as always. So I dropped down to 315 for this first set of three, hopefully, and dig, see if I can get this three. So here we go. I'm gonna get the three, and I'm gonna do the last two sets, 275, and keep it rolling. I ain't got it today, guys. I ain't got it. Fuck. Guys, so just get back home from the gym, picked up 
a salad. It is currently 4.09 and all I've had today was a little bit of bowl of cereal. This grain, great grain cereal. Uh, one serving at that. And so I picked up a side salad. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take off half, pretty much half or all, almost all of this cheese right here. Way too much cheese on the salad. Take all that off so I can save some fat macros for dinner. Take about half of that off. Add some of this Black Forest ham um, deli meat. Uh, if I can see the macros, hold on. For a serving, 1.5 fat, 2 carbs, 10 protein. So going to add a serving of that on top of this. And uh, use a little bit of this honey mustard dressing. Didn't they, I don't have any fat for Italian, so I'm just going to use a little bit of this. And that's going to be my first true meal. But, uh... Meal post workout. So it took off pretty much a lot of that cheese. Gonna have just this Black Forest ham and probably a scoop of ghost up oh, there. It's ticked up down there. But uh, that's gonna be a meal. YouTube, um, just talking about post that deadlift session. You know, today I just didn't have it. And you know, I had that's this is like probably the first time in a long time that I've actually my workouts have sucked. And you know, my strength was low, you know, and I. A little kind of pulled something in my lower back. I had to foam roll it out. I'm better now, but today I just didn't have it. And you know, I was pissed. You know, in the moment you heard me guys say, you guys heard me say, you know, you know, I just ain't got it. Like, fuck this. Like, excuse my language, but there's gonna be days like that. As you get deeper and deeper into your cut, you know, I'm starting to lose weight slowly, slowly but surely. But as I get deeper, you know, my meals are getting short, getting smaller. I'm eating less. My calories are getting less. The strength's gonna go down, and like I said before, I even did those deadlifts. I was trying to maintain as much as I possibly could, and that 325, 365 felt heavy as I don't know what. And it's just there's gonna be times like that when I just don't have it, and I've lost, I've lost all energy, and that was today. And and you chalk it up, and you move on, and and you don't let it affect the rest of your workouts. You push hard, you know. I'm probably gonna take a couple of sets, like maybe the rest of the week off from deadlifts. I'm gonna you know amp up the cardio as I get back to school, but I mean. It is what it is. I can't be, I can't, I can't dwell on it too much because that's life. Every day, every workout is not going to be perfect. Every day is not going to be perfect. You're not going to hit every macro. You're not going to lose, a, hit the weight you want to hit, you know, weight loss wise. So you have to chalk it up to day by day, taking things one day at a time, as I always say, and just move forward. So I was, I was upset earlier, but now I've calmed down. I've just sat back, relaxed, and just thought about it. And, it is what it is. Come back stronger next time. As long as I'm safe, I'm not injured. You know, like I said, a minor, minor pull in my lower back, and I'm good. But as long as you're not injured, you're not, as you're not pushing past where you need to be, um, you're going to be fine. So that's just my little motivation, my little rant. And, uh, yeah. So I think that's my dad coming home. I'm going to relax, start on some homework, have an exam later this week, edit this vlog, and... Uh, See goes for freaking dinner. Here is served to chicken chicken legs, a little bit of pasta, and some okra. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave it a thumbs up. Peace.